So B vitamins are incredibly important for your health and deficiencies in any of these vitamins can lead to anything from miscarriage to megaloblastic anemia and more. But do you know the vitamin B deficiency signs and what to do about it? In this video, I'm going to teach you the signs and symptoms of B vitamin deficiencies and what to do about it. First up is vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. Now, B1 helps you convert food into energy. It has neurological effects as well. Symptoms of low B1 are loss of appetite, fatigue, irritability, tingling in the limbs, muscle weakness, and blurry vision. So what can we do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a list of foods that you can eat that are rich in vitamin B1. Now, vitamin B1 can be found in beef liver, lentils, black beans, macadamia nuts, pork loin, edamame, and asparagus. And moving on, we have vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin. Riboflavin also helps you convert your food into energy, and it's important for helping you maintain proper eye health. Symptoms of vitamin B2 deficiency are skin issues and lesions, especially around the corners of the mouth, swollen lips, sore throat, and itchy and red eyes. Now, a severe vitamin B2 deficiency can lead to degeneration of the liver and issues with the reproductive systems and nervous system. And what can we do about a B2 deficiency? I'm gonna give you a list of foods that are rich in B2. Those include eggs, organ meat, liver, kidney, lean meats, low-fat milk, green vegetables like broccoli and spinach, fortified cereals, grains, and breads. Moving on to vitamin B3, also known as niacin. Niacin aids in proper digestion, healthy appetite, and cell development. Symptoms of B3 deficiency are digestive issues like nausea and abdominal cramping and mental confusion. A severe B3 deficiency can lead to something called pellagra. Again, this is quite rare, but it's hallmarked by the three Ds, dementia, diarrhea, and dermatitis. Now we can combat a B3 deficiency by eating some of the following foods. Meat, including poultry, beef, and fish, nuts and legumes, and fortified grains and breads. Next up is vitamin B6, also known as pyroxidine. B6 can help the body fight infections and help support the immune system. Symptoms of low B6 are depression, confusion, anemia, susceptibility to infection, and skin rashes. A severe deficiency can lead to seborrheic dermatitis, glossitis, and chelitis, as well as depression, confusion, and even seizures. Some foods that are rich in B6 are poultry, organ meats, fish, potatoes, and other starchy vegetables and fruits except for citrus fruits. Next up we have vitamin B9 also known as folate. B9 fosters the growth of healthy red blood cells and when consumed before or during a pregnancy can help avoid birth defects. In fact low folate levels have been linked to miscarriage as well as stroke and other diseases. Now this note is important to listen to. Folate is found naturally in in foods, but in supplements, you'll often find folic acid listed on the label instead of folate. Folic acid is a synthetic compound. It is not the same as folate in the body. Now your genetics are going to change whether folic acid is more or less beneficial or dangerous for you, but for those with a gene called MTHFR 677CT, folic acid can actually be quite detrimental. So I always recommend that people try to consume folate, the more natural form in their foods, or in a supplement, look for methylfolate on the label and try to avoid folic acid. Symptoms of B9 deficiency include changes in skin, hair, and nails, open sores in the mouth, and megaloblastic anemia. Now, symptoms of megaloblastic anemia are weakness, heart palpitations, fatigue, irritability, and trouble concentrating. Foods rich in B9 are beef liver, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and other dark green leafy vegetables, fruits and other nuts, beans, and peas. Next up, we have vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin. B12 helps regulate the central nervous system, and it also plays an important role in red blood cell growth and development. Signs of a B12 deficiency include fatigue, constipation, lack of appetite, weight loss, numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, poor memory, and soreness of the mouth or tongue. Severe deficiencies of B12 can lead to megaloblastic anemia and dementia, as well as paranoia or depression. Now, vitamin B12 is found mainly in meat and dairy products. This is why people on a vegan or vegetarian diet are often deficient in B12. Some of the best sources of vitamin B12 are going to be beef liver and meats, including beef and poultry, Clams, eggs, milk, and cheese are also excellent sources, as are fortified breads and cereals. 
Now, in case you couldn't tell, I was, I was running down all of the different B vitamins and all of the foods that are rich in the B vitamins, the absolute best way that you can ensure that you don't end up with a B vitamin deficiency is to eat a variety of plant and animal foods. So now that you know what to eat, you can get started filling up your plate with some of these healthy foods. And if you need any help figuring out what to eat within these nutrient dense foods, my team of registered dietitians and I are ready to help guide you. Just click the link in the description box below that says apply and you can apply to work with us today. If you found this video helpful, give it a like so that I know. And if you have any topics you want me to cover in the future, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you.